Hello, good evening, and welcome to Wisconsin, where it is cold outside, but it is hot in here because we have the unlimited and lots of roto molding ovens. Thank you for tuning in for our live reveal of the new model, the unlimited. Um, you know, this has been in development for about two years now, directly, but indirectly, it's been something that's just, you know, it's about 15 years in development because everything we do is just trying to learn and improve make things better, listen to our owners, listen to the community, listen to dealers, listen to the team, and say, what can we do to make our kayaks better? What can we do to meet the needs of anglers, of hunters, of fly fishermen, and more? So the Unlimited, while it's been something that, you know, we've been working on since 2019, it really embodies everything we've learned since we started back in 2006. Super excited about this new kayak. I know our team's excited about it. Um, and I'm really pumped to introduce it to you. Now, I promise I'm not long-winded. I'm not gonna be talking here for 30 minutes and you're saying, well, show us the darn kayak already. But just a couple things I wanna say first off is to you know, thank you to our team. We've got about 15 guys on our team that participate in the Skunk Works to help us with the design of this kayak and really provided just invaluable feedback, ideas, contributions. So to you guys, I just wanna give you a big thank you. This wouldn't be what it is without you. Um, in particular, Everett Park, who led that effort. Um, also, thanks to our longtime designer, James Thomas, who really just makes magic happen when he gets behind his, uh, you know, 3D mouses and joysticks and all that stuff on his, uh, on his machine and uh, just brings uh, some wonderful ideas to life. So super excited about this new kayak and let's get on with it. Let's introduce you to the Unlimited. So I know there's been a lot of speculation about what it is, but this is it. The Unlimited is 12 and a half feet long. It's 41 inches wide. The whole assembled whole weight is 84 pounds. It really is just gonna be an awesome kayak that we designed to unlimit yourself. With this boat, you'll be able to go, you know, really in any type of water. You can go and surf, you can go in rivers, lakes, you name it, it's gonna, it's gonna be great. It will go in, um, Excuse me. Um, you can set it up, you know, any way you want to with propulsion. You know, all of our models have the ability for paddle, pedal, and power, but the Unlimited really takes that to the next level um, with the integration of uh, different mounting systems and, and hardware, wiring, all that kind of stuff. And it's really going to be a kayak that just gives you complete control of a deck, wide open deck space, allow you going to do, allow you to do really anything you want to do. So really excited about it. It's uh, going to be very stable. You know. 41 inches wide, 12 and a half feet long. You know that's stable. It's gonna be fast on the water. It's gonna paddle really well. You're gonna be very impressed with how it moves. Tracking, maneuverability, you know, all those are gonna be, uh, gonna be right there. So on the water, it's gonna just be a joy. And then the deck, you are in control. You can do what you wanna do. So with that said, let's, um, Brian, why don't you come on in and let's just do a little uh, a walk down and run through of the Unlimited. Going to start bow to stern, go through it, and try to uh, just really give you a quick overview of everything this kayak can do, what it has on it. We'll come back tomorrow and show you some more accessories and outfitting. I mentioned the cold weather here. We did have some stuff that was supposed to be here Monday that's still in delay. So pivot drives and the motor systems we may or may not be able to show you tomorrow, but we will soon. So start at the bow. If you wonder about my Red tape finger, eh, little accident while we were getting set up here. Didn't want to be dropping blood drops on the kayak. So um, starting at the bow, we got a bow insert. That's going to be used for the anchor wizard bracket, the bow motor mount. So those brackets will drop wide on, three screws right into inserts, super simple. Um, easy on, easy off, you know, just a uh, great mounting system there. Um, handle, nice uh, handle, flex grip handle. Feels good on your hand, easy to hold the bow of the boat. Got the rod tip holders, so you can take your fly rods or uh, your, any style of rod, um, just slide them right along this ledge into that holder, keep them nice and secure, keep them protected. Then here we have a, a wiring access plate, and this is something that's totally new on the Unlimited. I'm gonna give you really good ability to get into the hole and run your wiring without having risk of leaking or water intrusion. So we're gonna cover that a little bit more back in the middle but we do have one of the wiring access plates here at the bow. Next up, we got uh, the recesses for the Yak Attack through hole wiring ports. 
Now these are going to be included with the Unlimited, but not installed because you're going to determine where you want to put them, what plugs you need to use, and set them up right where you want them. We're not going to make that decision for you. We're going to leave it to you, but you will have that with the Unlimited. We have tracks, and not just any tracks. Don't know if you can hear that, but we have top load aluminum tracks on the Unlimited. These are going throughout the boat. All in all, it's about 22 feet, a little over 22 feet of top load aluminum tracks. These are going to be, you know, just super secure for anything you want to mount. They're going to make rigging your, your Unlimited a dream because you can drop anything in right where you want it. Now up here we have a nice open space in the bow. That's great for storage. If you have a second passenger, it's great for a little extra leg room. You know, a really versatile space that you can use as you want. It's also going to be the home for the gear pod. The gear pod is modular on-demand storage. It's going to drop right in here, secure to the tracks. It's going to be an ideal place um, for having dry storage. You could use it as a cooler, You'll use it as a live well. And, um, and also use it kind of as your hub for electronics. You could wire everything into the gear pod, not have to run things through your boat if you want. And then at the end of the day, it comes right out. So that modular on-demand storage, it goes with you when you want it, stays behind when you don't. You have all the benefits of open bow and all the benefits of storage. That's just a couple days away from being here and us being able to introduce that to you. But we want to let you know that that's going to fit right in the bow of the Unlimited and also on the Flint. Next up, we've got a nice 15 inch uh, track section on the deck floor. Um, great for mounting something that you want uh, in the center. Working our way back, we've got a 20 inch wide cast and blast deck. And you can see the feature on this deck, deep channels, just excellent drainage, has seven scuppers, two in the front, three down the middle, and two more in the back. So this boat is gonna drain like a champ, and this boat is gonna have a rock solid deck structure. No matter where you are, what you're doing, it's a rigid deck, it's a sturdy deck, you're not gonna have water accumulating on it. You can see, well, maybe you can see, or maybe you can't, but there's a nice slope here at the bow. So any water that comes in at the bow is gonna wash back. You got those deep channels, so water that comes in, it's gonna find those channels and just go right out those scuppers, and you're gonna have a dry deck no matter where you're going on this boat. Whew. Lots to cover. Next up, we got uh, some more track sections up here on the gunnel, built in, giving you just a lot of freedom to mount anything you want up there. Some nice oversized tackle pockets on the side, great for Plano boxes, um, other items you just want to stash away, have you know right there where you need them, but completely out of the way. The deck track is 79 inches long. For reference, the deck track on the Frontier 12 is 70 inches long. So this is going to be an excellent boat for really rigging up with everything you want and still having ample deck space or going tandem. Going to be a lot of room for both passengers in a tandem setup and really just unlimited real estate to work with on the deck of the Unlimited. I mentioned before the, uh, the top load tracks, that's gonna come in real handy if you do have a lot of stuff mounted to the tracks, you wanna drop a, if you have a casting bar, or a second seat up here and you wanna drop an Omega Pro rod holder in or some other item, man, you just put it right in there and away you go. So those top load tracks are gonna be just awesome. You're gonna love them. Um, next up, we got the retract hardware, stealth pulley, the cleat, two line guides. So this is already essentially has the hardware for the pivot drive, new canoe EPS and Torquedo. So if you're gonna add a pivot drive or one of those motor systems to your Unlimited, you're not gonna put one screw into this boat. Not one self-tapping screw, you're not gonna drill one hole, you're just gonna plug, plug and play and go. It's gonna be a really simple setup and installation for those systems. And really we've got everything already dialed in for you on that. In the center of the deck floor, we have a nice oversized um, scupper for mounting this transducer. And in a minute, we'll show you what's under underneath that, which you will want to see. Little spot here, little home for a, for a cleat for a system that we'll have in the future for retracting that transducer. Uh, we got the wiring access plates in the middle, which we mentioned before, and I want to show you what's beneath them. So we have a starboard plate. 3 8 inch thick, got a nice gasket beneath it. And then behind that, you essentially have a knockout plate. So if you want to get your hand inside of here for wiring or access, 
you can cut this whole thing out and you have a nice opening. If you just want to run a wire through there, you can just drill a 3 16 inch hole or a quarter inch hole or whatever you need. So you can tailor that to you. So you're just drilling in what you need, you know, minimum opportunity for water to get in there, install whatever you need on the, uh, uh, your plugs and such on the, uh, on the access plate, put it back in. We've got inserts in there, so it doesn't really matter if you're taking that on and off multiple times. Every time you put it back on, it's gonna be nice and secure. You also have the benefit of if you wanna change up your setup and say, hey, you know, I used to have a big plug in here, I wanna get rid of that. You can always get a new access plate, cover plate for that and start over and do something different. So that really unlimits you and your ability to wire, you know, rig things up, have it completely clean and integrated. Uh, next up on the outside, we got the, the handle, side handle slash paddle holder. If you've seen that in the flint, you know what an awesome feature that is to be able to slap your paddle right on the side there, little recess channel for it, and um, also makes a great handle. You know, I mentioned the boat was 84 pounds. That's only about 18 pounds more than our smallest model, the F10. So despite the size, this is not a big beast. And with these handles, it is possible to even grab that thing, boom, overhead carry it you know, with the seat off, because that'd be a little bit awkward. But uh, we've demonstrated that around here, hauling these boats around the last couple of days. Uh, next up is the seat, the Fusion seat. If you've heard anything about the Fusion seat, if you've ever tried the Fusion seat, you know the Fusion seat is a phenomenal seat, super comfortable, you know, as good two years from now, it is the day you got it. And has all the, has the 360 mobility, has the same uh, base as we have on the Frontier 12 and the F10. So it has the ability to, rate, to rise up with our seat height lift kit or to drop down if you want to get lower for maximum just uh, balance stability or also for like a layout uh, situation for hunting. With the, uh, with the top load tracks, this thing just moves so nice. It slides along that track, you know, put it right where you want it, relocate it, no problem at all. A couple twists of the knob to lock that in place. Um, working our way back, we got a couple inserts. And these are for mounting the steering handle for the pivot drive torpedo or EPS systems. Mount it in, so all you need to do is take that screw, boom, boom, and that's then that's fastened. Two cup holders, and I'm loving this because I can put my big uh, my big water bottle in there that I have with me all the time. So it's uh, it's a great cup holder feature. You know, not a little small one that's only good enough for 12 ounce can, but you know it's going to work for the for the water bottle you want to take with you out on the water. Uh, you can see our scuppers deck feature here a little bit more, which we'll show you on the boats on the back, kind of on an overview. Uh, more recessed track into the gunnels on either side. And you can see some little details in this boat, just a little like little drain right here. So water can drain out if it gets in here, you know. We really tried to take everything we've learned on all of our kayaks, every all the little input from the team, really build that into this boat so that this one is just a dream to use, a dream to get around on the water and just, uh, you know, that really allows you to unlimit yourself. Um, now we got the crate space in the back, perfect for your black pack, battery, cooler, anything like that. We've got the tracks here, allow you to put a track strap in, mount, um, you know, Visipole, any other accessories you want to have behind you. Two flush mount rod holders. Now in these, we have a completely new gasket. It's an eighth inch uh, silicon gasket going beneath that. Again, with everything we did on this boat, one of the main focuses has been let's keep water out of the hole let's make it dry inside so you can go down those rivers you can go through that surf you can do whatever you want to do and not have to fear water getting in your hole so those are really nice gaskets totally new system for how that hole is cut out as well so there's actually a shaft that's in there so it's just taking a hole saw which everything you know it may not be something you can see but i can tell you when the assembly process is super simple that means everything gets done right every time and the way this boat goes together is super simple. Uh, next up is a deck plate. Again, I mentioned uh, just making the assembly setup so everything's consistent. It's a really cool feature that was molded in on here with a knife edge. So you literally take a mallet, and bam, and the, uh, the deck plate, you know, the, the center part just falls out. So we're not having to put a router on there, or cut it out, you know, by hand. It's just, it comes out exactly the same every time. So that means we can produce, you know, deliver the exact same result every time. Um, then we got two more recesses for the Yak Attack through hole wiring kit. Again, those will be provided and you can determine which ones you need and where you want to put them. 
Now we're almost to the back, but now we're finally to one of my favorite features, which is this new stern handle. This thing is lovely. Rotates up, rotates down to get out of the way. Have the ability, find my, uh, to lock it out. You could drop a little pin in there. It's not gonna move. Drop a little pin in the upright position. It's not gonna move, but personally, moving these boats around the last few days, it works great just like this. And then when you have that movement, that handle moves, so it's not all translated right into your arm and your wrist. It just makes this thing feel about 25 pounds lighter. Even kind of when you're navigating around corners or trying to turn it over on its side, you got this angle here that works really well. So when we were just, you know, rotating the boats upside down, this handle works great for that, which is something you're going to be doing when you're car topping or loading it. So you're going to absolutely love this handle. It feels great. It uh, really just takes the weight right out of the boat. On top of that, two more tracks. Um, now these are going to be ideal for like a, an anchor wizard shoot for mounting a power pole. So really just, again, unlimits you gives you lots of options for how you want to rig it if you want to have a pivot drive and a power pole you run two power poles you know that system here will let you just do has so much potential for how you can mount things off the transom of the unlimited and then the transom itself you can see we've got lots of feature built in here on the inside and on the outside that just makes that transom structurally sound. So when you put your outboard motor bracket on, your pivot drive, your Torquedo, your EPS, that thing is rock solid. And it's going to be a real reliable place to mount your propulsion. And you're not going to have to worry about any movement in there, any flex. Also with the, uh, with the transport cart that plugs into the transom. Just going to make that super stout. Um, drain plug on there. And... Um, Think that's I think that's the deck side. So with that, let's uh, let's jump over here and we'll let you look at the uh, at the hull of the unlimited. You got enough light. So um, really clean hull design. We got the two channels going down the middle, the center channel for the scuppers, and really just tried to minimize the surface area so we'd get a very efficient um, you know boat that would move well through the water really incorporates elements of all the boats we've designed and produced that uh, you know pulls from all of them to really give us just the best stability, the best speed, tracking maneuverability. And I'm fully confident that when you get in the Unlimited and you take a couple paddle strokes or you take put a, you know, a couple rotations on your pivot drive, you're just gonna be smiling with how well this thing moves through the water. So kind of giving you a top down view here, we got two bump offs here for structural support. We got the two uh, front scuppers, two more bump offs, um, you know, going in series here, then the two rear scu uh, scuppers, and then two more bump offs. Then in the middle, we've got your transducer pod. And that thing is oversized to fit the side scan transducers, to fit everything that's on the market today. It's got a lot of depth, and you can see a lot of width. And that's going to be just a perfect spot for mounting your scupper in the center of the boat through that, um, through that scupper. And then, as I mentioned before, we do have plans for a little system for deploying that so you can drop it down, raise it back up. But that is going to uh, you know, be a great solution if you're running a transducer and fish finder on your kayak. Um, so I think that about uh, does it for the hole. And then, Brian, let's uh, come on over here and just kind of do a little walk by on the top down view. <clears throat> so that is it. That's the unlimited. A um, couple other things you want to know. And I, I'm sorry I didn't say this up front. I meant to. The price on the unlimited is $15.99. I was intended to. <laughs> Not leave you hanging on that, so I'm sorry. But at $15.99 MSRP, these are going to start shipping to dealers in early March. So con if you want to see one of these, if you know you want one of these, contact your dealer. That's the best way to pre-order and get your name on an Unlimited. We're going to be sending, actually today we put one on a truck going to Georgia. So this weekend you should see the Unlimited in action on the water. 
We'll get more out next week um, to various team and pro staff guys. So you'll be able to start seeing this thing in action, not take my word for it, but see what it can do out there in the world, in the real world conditions. A um, couple other things to note on the Unlimited for accessories. Anything that is track mounted that works in the Frontier 12 or the F10 is going to fit on the Unlimited. So the slide mounts, the consoles, the casting bars, all that stuff is going to be compatible with the Unlimited. Um, anything that's a bow mount or a transom mount is going to have an Unlimited specific version so it can be fit just specifically to this boat. Those items are already, you know, we already have prototypes here test it out, make a few revisions, get those produced, and they should all be available in March as well. Uh, I mentioned the gear pod. That we will be showing to you, if we're lucky, tomorrow, if not next week, but it is coming soon. Oh, color options, good question. Um, what you see here, we have the, the thunderstorm, the tundra, the Gulf Coast, and the Bulldog. So four color options on the Unlimited, um, the same color scheme as we have on the Flint and the Pursuit. The gear pod will be, uh, will be just a standard black color on that one. Weight capacity. The weight capacity will be about 400 pounds uh, with, with the scuppers unplugged and about 600, 650 pounds with the scuppers plugged. So there's seven scuppers. So if you're gonna be going you know, above 400, 450, put the scuppers in and you'll be good, you know, up to that 650 range. We'll get it out on the water here um, soon to really validate that. Wisconsin is completely frozen. There's no water to be found anywhere to put these boats in other than like a big bathtub or something. So um, apologize for that. We were going to put one on the lake, frozen lake and say unlimited test paddle, but you know, didn't get around to that yet. So um, any other questions, Brian, that have come up that we can hit, hit right here? All right, guys. Well, hey, thanks for joining us on this reveal. We really think this could be an awesome kayak. I hope you do too. Um, it's going to get out to dealers here in March. So check back, follow us on social media, on the email, YouTube, and we'll be posting content. We'll be showing you more about this. And we're going to come back tomorrow morning and do a quick video showing you some of the accessory options. We don't have everything here, but kind of give you a quick rundown of outfitting this boat and what it can do. So thanks for tuning in. Um, appreciate you all. Have a good evening.